Good morning, everyone. It is so good to see everyone back here. It is breakfast time and I grabbed somebody. Oh yeah. <laughs> to help me make breakfast this morning. He likes to call it... The pancake of many names. <laughs> <laughs> is there a true name for this? We call it Dutch baby. I've heard it also called a German pancake, a fluffy pancake. I don't know. I'm sure y'all will let me know down in the comments. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> y'all, this is going to take no time at all to get this going. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Sounds good to me. I'm glad I got some help. Oh, yes. Now, as always in my kitchen, we try to keep things very simple, very easy, but so delicious. So we're going to be making it in a nine by 13 baking dish. Now, Mainly a lot of people like to use it in a cast iron skillet, but you know, I know a lot of people have a baking dish here, so we're gonna do that. Now Joseph has the butter over here, and this thing calls for a lot of butter. Oh yeah. And when I say a lot of butter, he's gonna cut six tablespoons of butter and just place it around the baking dish. Sounds good to me. So while he's doing that, we do have our oven preheating to 425 degrees for this, which is perfect. And we're also gonna put bacon in the oven, which will cook at that same temperature in almost the same amount of time. So it'll all come together. Wow, it sounds pretty easy. Yep. Okay, while the oven is preheating, we're gonna go ahead and place our nine by 13 baking dish into the oven and let that butter start melting. Okay, okay while the butter is melting in the oven, you wanna make sure you keep an eye on it though. We don't wanna brown the butter in there. So once it starts melting and you're still working on this process here, you can pull your baking dish out of the oven and just rest it on the stove top until you get to that point. So what we're gonna do now is just take a large bowl. We're gonna add the dry ingredients, which will contain one cup of all-purpose flour. We're gonna dig deep, shake it off, and then just place it into our large mixing bowl. We're gonna add a quarter cup of white granulated sugar. And then we're gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm gonna have Joseph whisk this all together. Oh yeah. And get it nice and blended. Joseph will be the first one down here when there's breakfast. Shh. <laughs> he said, shh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> He's a breakfast person, just like me. Oh yeah. So our oven is already preheated at the 425, so just keep an eye on the butter. All right, we're gonna go ahead now and take the baking dish out of the oven that has the butter in it. We're gonna set it on the stove top as we finish up making the pancake batter. Okay, now that our dry ingredients are whisked up, we're gonna go ahead now and add six eggs. We're gonna crack them one at a time into a small bowl. That way we don't get any shells and have to dig through the flour for them. So, yeah, all right, Joseph. That wouldn't be fun. No. <laughs> so he's gonna get started with that. Yep. I've got some vanilla extract. We're gonna put in about one teaspoon. Gotta give this pancake some flavor. Okay, while he's doing the rest of the eggs, I'm gonna go ahead and add one cup of milk. Sounds good. Joseph's gonna whisk this batter all together oh. really good until it's nice it and good. smooth. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice and smooth. Believe me, we have enough people here this morning to eat this. Oh yeah. <laughs> My mom moved in with us. Joseph's still here with us. <laughs> Permanently. No. No. Heck no. <laughs> Y'all talk to him in the comments. No. <laughs> Stop typing. I don't even start. And my daughter, Rihanna, she's here with us. Yep. But it's very, very seldom that I see everyone at the same time. Yeah. 
There's a few ways you can do this. You can do it like what we're doing here with a whisk. You can put this in a blender and blend it all up really good. I didn't want to make all that noise this morning because, you know, some people are still sleeping. <laughs> I'm like the early risers here. <laughs> yep. The early bird gets the worm. All right, Jessica's going to bring over our baking dish that has the melted butter in it. The dish is, the dish is still hot, so make sure you have your mitts on. All right, we're going to pour it all in. Oh, yeah. Oh, what do you think? It's like a waterfall of deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs> He's hilarious. If y'all haven't seen Joseph with me before, there's a lot of videos out there. I'll link a playlist. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, we're going to place this in the oven that's still on the 425 degrees. We're going to bake this for about 20, 22 minutes. Just keep an eye on it and make sure that the sides all puff up. It's gonna be bigger on the sides than it will be on the center. Joseph and I are gonna get the bacon ready to put in the oven at the same temperature and it'll go in for about 18 to 20 minutes. So when you cook bacon in the oven, make sure that you use a sheet pan that has a nice size lip going around it, like that here. I've got some parchment paper on it. There we go, Joseph. Lay it out. There we go. All right, when we're putting the bacon in, you want to be really quick about it. We don't want to lose too much heat in the oven for that Dutch baby. Boom. Boom. <laughs> okay, we're just getting ready to pull this out of the oven. Now, I just laid a piece of foil over the top of it at the very end to keep it from burning on the edges. But I wanted to make sure the center of this was cooked through, which it is. And then we're going to turn off the oven because the bacon is good to go too, as you can see down in there. Let me get you closer to that bacon. Yeah, we're going to pull that bacon out also. I'm going to show you how we're going to serve this up. All right, we got our breakfast spread right here. That is our Dutch baby, our... Pancake of many names. <laughs> <laughs> the German pancake. The fluffy pancake. There you go. <laughs> Whatever you know it by, there it is right there. Really simple and easy to put together. Our bacon got done at the same time. I've got some powdered sugar. You know people like that on there. We've got some maple syrup, and then we got fresh blueberries. We're going to plate this up, and Joseph and I are going to give it a try for you. All right, let's do it. Here goes our bite. Here it goes. Let's get a nice big bite with some blueberries. Maybe. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm, wow. Mm. That's really good. Mm. You know what? Don't get out the griddle in several pans and trying to make individual pancakes for everybody. Oh no, this is where it's at right here. Make it in a 9x13. <laughs> yeah. It's very delicious. It's like you can make a pancake cake. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Very good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh gosh. That butter, oh, it comes through. Mm -hmm. Makes it really delicious. Nice and a little hint of salt to it. Mmm. That's good. Okay, oh, yeah. guys. Thank Joseph for coming in the kitchen with me this morning to make breakfast. Oh, you know I'll make breakfast I'm any so, day. I'm sorry we're not at your house making it for you, but, you know, <laughs> you can make it. Oh, easy as pie. <laughs> Thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. And that bell notification, it's really important to hit that bell notification because it'll always let you know when shows like this one here are posted. <laughs> We'll see you on the next episode. Alrighty. Time to eat. Time to eat. Mm. Don't forget your bacon. Mm-hmm.